I sent a um, copy of my book to one of my dear and precious friends in Dallas, Texas, and he started reading my book. Then he called me. He said, Henry, I read chapter one, but he said when I got to chapter two, he said that title was very captivating, which is living in the state of denial. He then proceeded to tell me, he says, man, even at my age till this day, at this present and current moment, I am still having a hard time facing my wounds. I'm still having a rough time uh, dealing with my own pain and my own trauma. He, this man went on to say that Henry, as I continue to read throughout chapter two, he says, I still struggle with being in denial about the very thing that traumatized me. And that encouraged me because I think so many of us are there today that we feel like that we just cover it up and deny our pain and pretend like we weren't traumatized or that we didn't go through that thing that we are so desperately trying to avoid. We feel like that it'll just heal on its own. So that really touched my heart for my friend to tell me. He says, I love that chapter title, Living in the State of Denial. But he says, most importantly, he says, I'm struggling with that right now in my life. I know I have pain in my life. I know I have trauma in my life. I know I have some things in my life that I need to face, that I need to deal with, but I'm having a hard time doing that. I want to read you a portion of my book, Facing Our Wounds, uh, chapter 2. It says, Denial is part of being human. We deny things in an attempt to protect ourselves from the facts we refuse to face even our wounds. We deny death. We deny that a friendship has ended. We deny the truth because it is hard to face. We deny that a marriage has ended. The ultimate reason people are in denial about their wounds is because they are easier to deny than to accept. 